Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about Lucy Ticket Symbol LCID. So, Lucy has their earnings coming out today after hours. And there's a lot of anticipation because this is the first time they're reporting their earnings after going public last June. So it's going to be um, crazy. There's a lot of people watching this particular stock. So we're going to talk about it. Uh, I'll give you guys my predictions of what I would expect and then what the future plans are. And then we'll talk about the, the price moving forward um, after this earnings. So if you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to Lucid, um, this is a stock that we've covered here on the channel a lot. Again, I give you guys um, update as to um, the progress that the company has been making. When price is going to go down, I know this is going to go down. I'll let you guys know so you can either wait to buy and buy the dip. And likewise, when I see uh, catalysts that would push the price up, I always make sure that I share that with you guys so you guys are uh, informed. Again, like I said, this is the first time that the company is actually reporting their earnings um, after going public um, through a spark. So again, a lot of anticipation. So we're gonna go through here. I'm gonna show you guys uh, some stuff. Again, if you can look at the beautiful Lucid Air. Um, I mean, what a piece of art that has been created. I do love these vehicles. They're just um, the best. So we'll talk about, again, these are some of the things that I see right now. So we'll go through this and I'll just walk you guys, um, give you guys some background and um, stuff to st expect in the future. So Lucid um, only started their production in late September. Again, we did videos here that we covered those and it started shipping them towards the end of October. So uh, right now, we don't anticipate to see any revenue reported. If any, it would be really minimal revenue. Um, their net loss, and again, this is from Lucid, will come in at around 350 million. Um, but one thing that you guys need to be aware of is that they talked about um, after the, the merger with the Spark, they have about 4.6 billion dollars cash that can run them all the way through 2022. So I don't think 350 million loss is going to be an issue after they started doing delivery. So I think they're still sitting on a good side. So. Uh, the primary focus would be on how production has fled since um, the first air went out. So they started delivery end of October. So how is production holding up? Are they meeting uh, demand? So again, the other thing that they had talked about was the fact that they want to deliver at least 520 um, Lucid Air Dream Editions before they can switch gears and start doing the cheaper models. So I did on track. I want to hear that uh, during this particular ending call. And then one thing that you know, give Lucid an upper hand is the fact that they have uh, 520 miles on a single charge um, right now beating Tesla in that process. So Tesla, sorry. Um, Lucid is coming in hot again. We they mentioned back in September, which I did a video here on the channel that they have over 13,000 reservations. So, if we take that 13,000 reservations at the price that they're selling the Lucid um, Air, that Dream Edition, um, we're looking at somewhere over a billion dollars in revenue. And then they also said that they're looking at probably putting out about 20,000 Lucid Air by 2022. So, if we use those numbers and the price, so that would probably generate about 2.2 billion dollars in revenue uh which is kind of crazy and right now they're looking at maybe uh, at full capacity at the current plan they're looking at 34,000 vehicles a year um out of their the plan in arizona so in there's still massive construction going on there right now to expand that so they can actually uh produce even more vehicles so that's something that you need to keep an eye on. So also Lucy has been doing a wonderful job opening up showrooms across the country. This is something that they want to actually have people come in there, sit in these vehicles, maybe test drive them and get a feel of what these vehicles have to offer. And then the plan is not only to expand in North America, but they want to expand um, in Europe and in the Middle East. We already know that they would expand in the Middle East because um, the Prince of Saudi Arabia is a key investor in Lucid. So I anticipate that they want to be out there because there's a lot of money in the, in the Gulf that they can actually make from this. So um, you will see the expansion there uh, pretty soon. So 
that's something that I see. Then Lucid is also expanding into other business areas, other ventures. I would expect them to talk about this in this particular earnings call because it's very important. So they talk about their energy storage systems, which is which is huge. So if Tesla is boasting that Lucy want to do the same thing, and then um, they also want to expand um, their battery pack to other manufacturers, which I think is a smart idea, sell to other manufacturers so they don't have to do the work that they've done already. So again, we can see here, look at uh, compared to Tesla, Rivian that just went public. Um, you can look at their you know, quarterly revenue right now, which is kind of crazy. Look at the market cap. So Lucy is right there, number three at $73 billion. Uh, beating out Neo, which again, um, there's a lot of questions about that for compared to the work that Neo has done and how much uh, stuff they've put out already. So that's something that we need to be aware of. So again, one of the things I want to bring up here is the fact that they are getting rewards from um, in our different places. I told you guys about the review that they had in the last video that I did about Lucy. Um, crazy reviews like people love these vehicles like they enjoy them and you can see lucid air named 2022 model trend car of the year a first instance in which initial product from a new automotive brand has been awarded again this is massive so lucid is breaking grounds and setting um the trend and setting the standards uh moving forward so i i'm super excited about about this so where do we go from here we know that their current uh, AMP1 uh, manufacturing facility was completed back in December. That's where they're doing their current production. And the goal is to be able to make 30,000 Lucid Air um, annually. Uh, they're also working on construction right now to expand that plant so they can get about 500,000 cars annually around 2030. That's the goal. Um, and then they have phase two, which is uh, introducing Project Gravity. And Project Gravity involves their, their SUV. So they want to build this wonderful SUV. I think it's gonna be dope, just like the other, the other um, cars that they have. Um, and so that's coming in 2023. Again, they will talk about this in, those, in the earnings call. I expect them to really uh, go in depth as to where this currently sits. Um, and you know, again, they talk about the two models expected, you know, down the road. I don't know what those models are going to be, but they'll probably start putting those out. And so I anticipate all these things to be mentioned, um, in, in their call. Again, for those of us that are currently on the stock, you're probably looking at the price point and like, what, what, where do you go from here? Um, here, this is where we currently sit right now. So Lucy currently sit where somewhere about, uh, $43 and some change. So we got up to about 49 and then pulled back and sitting about 43. So again, this is this is still trading during um, regular hours. So for me, um, there is different numbers here that I'm looking at. If this thing break up to the upside and get to 50, we might see Lucy go all the way to 60 that if it breaks to the upside. The flip side of this is if it breaks to the downside, it can get to 40. I would expect some kind of support at 40. And if so, if that support at 40 fails, it can drop down to 35. And if 35 fails, we, we see somewhere around 30. And again, that would be a, a really crucial point. So again, all of these depends on the numbers that the, they, they put out there that they've delivered so far as far as uh, the Lucid um, Dream Air Edition. So if they put they give out a good focus as to where they're going, how many they've delivered, how many are in the pipeline, if they're gonna meet that demand, if they're gonna meet their deadlines of being able to produce 520 uh, Lucy Dream Air, those things would motivate investors. They'll feel good about the company. So that's something that I'll be looking at again. Uh, I'm looking at the numbers here. If you break that 45 um, in, into the downside, this is potentially uh, kind of, it, it's gonna pull back and you look at somewhere around 30. And for people that are looking to get in, if we get to 30, I say stop buying because that would be that would be a good idea. So if it breaks and get down to that 30 price point, I, that's where I would say start um, start buying up in the position. Um, for the most part, any dip below uh, 35, if you don't currently have a position, start small, average your way into the stock because there's no way for you to time it and know exactly when this thing's gonna pull back. Um, again, open a small position and then uh, buy more as the price keep dipping if it keeps dipping. But I don't anticipate that's gonna pull back because then like remember back in uh, September when we went uh, to as low as uh, $18, I, 
unless something magically happens, I don't see us um, getting back to those numbers again. Um, for now, 30 would be, uh, to me, a support that I like. If it breaks 30, and then that's really not good. But again, I'm, I'm a long-term investor in the stock, so um, this is for people that are swinging. So um, right now, if you were just swinging uh, and you are in the money, I would say put a stop loss so that if this thing stops pulling back, you can sell and then buy if it goes cheaper. So that would be um, a smart way to approach it because you don't want to see all that profit disappear um, while you have it. So secure some of that profit by using some sort of a stop loss. And then remember, this is going to happen after hours. The earnings is going to come out after hours. So if you have a trailing stop, that's not going to work because it's after hours. So make sure that you have a stop loss and you can trade extended hours because if you can, um, if it pulls back, you're just going to sit there and watch it. And then when the market opens the next day, you're going to see yourself being in the red. So that's how I would definitely approach this one. Again, um, key levels here. I'm looking at this 44 and some change. If we break up to the upside and get to 50, I, there's a possibility that we can run all the way to 60. Because if you look at that, this has been the high of the stock. But if we break to the downside, um, and break even 40, we can go down to as low as 30 uh, to find some sort of support around there. So that, those are some of the key levels that I'm actually looking at. But um, overall, again, I'm looking at management to come out and, and paint a positive picture. Um, how soon they, they, they plan on meeting demand for the 13,000 vehicles that were pre-ordered. Um, how soon they plan on opening uh, showrooms across the country. Um, how soon they're going to expand the factory so that they can, they can continue to, to put out a ton of vehicles. And then they talked about uh, being profitable um, maybe somewhere around 2024, 2025. So I want them to paint that positive picture like, hey, we are on track. We've got this. Um, the Lucy uh, Gravity is coming out in 2023 and we are on top of it. So I want those positive. If they can nail all those things and, and show a positive um, outlook, I think the stock would be just fine. Uh, it might even go to the upside. So again, that is what I, I'm looking at. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think about it? Are you positive? Do you think they're going to, again, when I think it's beat their earnings, because um, in this case, they just started production. So we don't anticipate that sales is going to be high, where revenue is going to come in high. So right now they're reporting a net loss. But again, for a company that is new, uh, does that net loss meet uh, the direction that the company is going or does it exceed uh, what the company was expecting? So those are some of the things that you want to put at the back of your mind. Again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about um, Lucid moving forward after earnings. Again, if you are new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you are looking to get started with investing, Mumu has this promotion where if you sign up and deposit whatever, $1, $2, you get five free stocks in somewhere between $9 and $3,500. So I'll put the links in the description below. Definitely go check them out. Um, you can sign up, get the free stocks and, and take your money and go somewhere else. It's free money. So take advantage of that. Links in the description. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.